Hi, this is Anita from Real Estate Crunch, where we talk about all things to do with real estate for just a few minutes each week. Today, we'd like to talk about the question of who can enter your property without permission. And when we are talking about this, I am talking about mainly about the laws in the United States. Now, in most countries, they would also have similar laws, but they may not be exactly the same. So again, if you have a question on this, wherever you're living in the world, you may want to be able to understand what the local laws there entail. You know, even though you can rent an apartment or own a property, you have the right to decide who can or cannot enter a house. But even with that right, there can be some exceptions. Let's talk first of all about the police. You know, the police can enter your property, but generally they do not have the right to enter a person's house or other private premise without permission unless they have a legal reason. Now, a legal reason would be a warrant. If they have a warrant, then they have complete right to enter your property, and there's nothing that you can say about it, you know, because of the fact that the police have a warrant, or if they're extenuating circumstances. Now, extenuating circumstance can be that they feel like someone is in danger. You know, maybe they hear somebody crying out for help, then they can enter your property without permission. For the United States, the Fourth Bill of Rights states, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. So in other words, right there in the Bill of Rights, it states that, but it does say if the police have a warrant or if they have a reason to enter your property, they feel someone's in danger they can do so. If you are renting a property, then your landlord or owner may be able to enter your house without your permission. The terms or conditions of this should be spelled out in your lease of exactly what they can or cannot do. You know, some reasons where they can maybe enter could be something for safety or for repair things, or they may need to allow authorities in as the police. The fire department can enter your house if your house is on fire. In other words, they don't need to have permission. They don't have to wait for permission. If your house is on fire, they can enter your house. The child protective services can enter if you're already dealing with them. In other words, if you have a case before the child protective services, they can make unscheduled visits. They can enter your house. They can check your house. And so you need to give them the right to be able to enter. Utility companies, if you have a utility easement, can enter your property. And this is very important for you to understand that if you purchase a property that has a utility easement, the utility company has the right to go onto your property without your permission. They do not need to ask your permission to go onto the property if they have a utility easement. Um, easement. Though most utility companies will, you know, inform you, they will, you know, tell you if they're going to do something on your property, but they could have the right to enter, especially if there's something like they need to access water, or let's say there's a fire pump, um, you know, on your property. And then they may need to, you know, access that because your neighbor's house is burning down. They will not need to, you know, to tell you that they're going to do that. They should be able to just access that pump or the fire hydrant without asking you about it. So, you know, there can be all these extenuating reasons as to why someone can enter your property without your permission. But generally speaking, the police need to have a warrant. And if they have a warrant, they have complete rights to enter your property. Your landlord, under some circumstances, can. And other, you know, uh, utility services, such as the fire department, uh, child protective services, or utility companies can if you have a utility easement on your property itself. I have written a blog on this entitled, Who Can Enter Your Property Without Permission? If you'd like to be able to learn more about this or read more about this, we'll put a link in the description so that you can be able to read more about who can enter your property without permission and what are the different rules and regulations for this. Again, as a reminder, if you're living in another country, there could be different rules, but generally speaking, most of the rules will be similar to this. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate it. We'd love to have you subscribe, be part of our community, um, give us a thumbs up. And we'd like to thank our technical team, especially Rico, for help making this possible. Mm-hmm.